What's up guys? It's another week. It's time for Technique Tuesday. Um, last week we did a little preview of my new Gi series for BJ Fanatics, which is an open guard series. Uh, gave you guys a little peek at what I just filmed. Tons of content on there. Make sure you check that one out. Um, I also filmed a brand new Nogi series. It's my first Nogi series in quite some time. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of that uh, for this week's Technique Tuesday. All right. The, the topic, the theme is no gi headquarters passing. All right. Um, so let's take a look. Okay. Here to help out is this little monster, Felipe with the Costa Laranjino. All right. Make sure to follow this guy as a future champ. All right. So, no gi headquarters. All right. Obviously, it's uh, a lot more slippery, there's a lot more movement, a little harder to get control without sleeves, pants, collar grips, all that good stuff, okay? So, typically, I like to stay on the knees once I get in, all right? Remember, good headquarters involves this leg being out, compressing that knee towards the shoulder and his chest, and I like to use this grip a lot to keep this leg from retracting out, okay? And here, I, I kind of start my game, all right? So very similar to Top Game Devastation, I like to put my knee on the chest, okay? But how do I apply that in no gi, okay? So as soon as I come down, I'm gonna start to grab his head, and I know this arm's always nearby, okay? It's always around here, where I can come off and start to get this wrist control as I lean forward and put my knee on his chest, okay? Look how similar the position is, all right? Pinning the wrist, controlling the head, just like when I had a cross collar grip, okay? So this is our no gi little headquarters 2.0, all right? And I have so many great things here. Sometimes you can simply just climb over, drop into the mount, okay? I can look for uh, more of a, of a knee cut and set him up for some front headlock series, all right? As I cut my knee, I know he's gonna churn. I can start to look for my wizard, bring my front headlock game into this, set up all my submissions, my back takes from there, all right? Obviously, that's one of my favorites, okay? And then, of course, the side smash. When he pushes his knee against my, my hip here to take my knee off his chest, now I can drop in, create my side smash position, all right? Really make it nice and mean. And then from there, always looking to take that position directly to the mount, all right? So, you know, we break down a lot of things from here in the new series. Um, just giving you guys a little preview how we can make some grips. I love this inside wrist grip because we can really pin it down and keep it trapped, okay? And this opens up new options as well. My ability to dive on front headlocks, all right? Use that to pass, set up my guillotine chokes, so on and so forth, all come from this position. And anytime maybe I get pushed off or whatever, I'm ready to drop in, start my, head, or my half guard passing, body lock series, everything is available for me, all right? So, a nice little peek at how we make the, the uh, no-gi variations, collar tie, wrist pin, looking at our directions, and in no-gi, we're always really focused on setting up the submissions in transition, okay? Um, the, the front headlocks, the kimuras, the back takes, all that good stuff comes into play as they're fighting our passes off, um, and that's something that I talk about a lot throughout the series. We look at Darces and uh, all sorts of strong attacks that you can build into your passing game for no gi, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek. Keep your eyes out for the new, the new series coming soon, like over two and a half hours of content in the no gi HQ passing, all right? Thank you all so much. Happy Technique Tuesday. Wishing you a great week of training. That's it, all right?